series up here. Seventh series here tonight. As we kick this off. And let's get this rolling to the bottom right hand side. Our green Zerg from Infinity Gaming is Denver. Top left hand side, our blue Terran player. This is Clem. Alright, so game one of the best of three, getting this underway. See what's gonna happen. ZVT, um, obviously haven't really had much of this. We saw Denver Beastie Cutie was our first series of the day. And game number one of that was very quick, a very aggressive build. Uh, not quite as aggressive, uh, it was more aggressive than this one. This is just pool first with the six lings. That was a gas pool back in the Denver Beastie Cutie series. Then we saw a little bit of the, uh, of actually De Denver played some Ling Bane Hydra against the Cyclone kind of Hellbat style. It was actually pretty sick. It was actually really awesome. It was, um, it was a lot of fun really, so... Some pretty cool games early on today if you missed out on them. Maybe go check up on them later on. Factory drops down from Clem in the main base now as the Reaper just pulling back a little bit. Marine on the way out to join up with that Reaper and meanwhile, again, just a drone on the way. Nothing too crazy really, is it? Let's see if he's also going to be chased down. Overlord moving now, a couple of lings looping around to the top. This is probably the match for first place, says Firefly Grave. Yeah, I mean, if Denver wins this game, I mean, he gets first place anyways, so it doesn't matter what else Clem does, so he quite literally at the moment is the match for first place. Obviously, if Clem wins, he keeps first place in contention. So we'll see how that goes. Denver hasn't dropped a map yet today, while well, after playing Beast of Cutie, Gung Fu Banda, and Rotty, although honestly against Gung Fu Banda, he had a pretty close game number one. That was... Really intense, that first game with that ZVP. And that's really insane. Rolling is coming in, and an SCV going to get picked off. A Marine starting to start a step backwards here from Clem. Rolling speed getting going. Hatchery dropping down on the third base as well. And uh, we do see just a few more drones currently on the way up. So a few more drones coming up here. Rolling speed is over halfway done. And that starport from Clem going to be finishing up over in the main base. And as this barracks going to be finishing the tech lab, that's something which the starport can now jump on towards in the next few moments. A couple of links coming in as the Reaper finally goes across the map with a couple of Hellions, so it's a good opportunity for these links to get damage done. It actually does so far get a couple of SCVs. Meanwhile, while Clem is distracted, loses the Hellion and the Reaper, so a little bit of a shame just there. Does Rory play Clem yet? It has been played, but we're going to be cast. We haven't cast the replays yet, so we're going to be doing that soon. Benji on the way up, couple Hellions coming now, Cloak on the way as well. Bailing that's dropping down in the natural expansions. You still see more Lings getting more damage, two more SCVs going down. Kinda crazy actually how much is starting to be done here, just by such a low number of Zerglings. And here comes Clem, he's going to move down to the bottom right hand side, so... Clem walking on towards the bottom right, he's got a few Hellions in the charge with a Banshee coming in as well. I'm just going to be seeing that Hatchery. Going to take a little bit of damage here to get started. Not too much. Bane is about to finish up as well. So, okay, I think Denver should be well prepared for anything that comes in. There is no armor with this anyway, so it is just Hellion and Banshee. And again, it feels like he's doing okay. He's got the link count. Should be able to keep the Hellions away from mineral lines, which is very important. He doesn't have a spore crawler, though, in the main base. So, actually, real opportunity for Dev. Clem to get some damage done. Don't stop the killer Zergling, though. Get back into this, and he is going to just jump straight on towards the uh, couple of drones here. So, 
Two drones going down. There's the Banshee will escape the right hand side. And that smoke roll came up from the natural, didn't it? So actually there is no detection currently on the natural as Clem finds seven, eight drones. Halligan's helping out with one of those on the top side, but it's really this Banshee doing the most. Oh, but he flies the next Banshee straight through his spore crawler. Clem losing out there a little bit, unfortunately. Halligan's getting rid of a few more Zerglings here. Oh, no, though. Bailin's actually going to start bursting through on the other side of the map. Ling is already in the natural, so he's actually bursted through a lot here. So Denver's has gone for a big counter Ling Bane burst. I guess I should have seen it coming, right? He's got no evolution chambers. He's just been spamming Ling Bane. So yeah, he's going to break through up in towards the main. And well, no damage done just yet. And there is more Hellions. Well, Hellions here. Say more Hellions. The Hellions are back to try and defend. Let's see if he's going to try and protect them. Hellions into the corner. I mean, that's perfect positioning to try and get damage done. Probably should have stayed in the corner, really. But he still has all four Hellions alive. More Ling streaming across. He needs to rewall. Clem, throw anything down here to wall this area. Because if you don't, more Lings are going to stream in. You've just cleaned everything up. But without a wall off, it's only going to continue being very difficult. Denver's not drawn behind this. He gets a depot. I think an engineering bay would have been best. It's cheap, but it has a ton of health. Now the depot is just going to, as the SCV dies, it's going to go down. So the Lings get in again. The wall on the high ground's already gone. He's going to try and use SCVs to body block, but obviously that's expensive. And that's his economy starting to go down the gutter as he loses even more of them. SCVs on the low ground again. I mean, a mule. Ah, uh, that's it. The Marines are going to get surrounded now as they go up to the high ground. Marines. Well, Lings just keep streaming in, right? Marines are trying to pull backwards. The SCV is under fire as well. And we are going to be seeing. 33 plus work is going down. Clem is down on 17, 16 supply. He's not done yet. He will fight until the end. 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9. I think that's meant to be a bravo, he says as uh, he picks up the game here against Denver. This off. We have got to the top left-hand side, our blue Terran. Who is currently trying to get back in this. This is our French player Clem in this actual French showdown, I guess. That's his opponent on the other side of the map who is leading the series and is one map away from winning this group. Our green Zerg player is Denver. Game two of the TVZ. A couple of drones on the way out. Overload from Denver just moving out and through to see what's going on. I'm just about to throw down his expansion. This time it is not a pool first from Denver. Playing on stasis, we don't really see this map used all that often. Um, I think the reality is it's pretty terrible. It's not terrible, it's just so different to the point where certain matchups will never play on it. Other matchups just aren't really preferred on it. And There's just better maps to play StarCraft 2 on is the real reason. So it's not going to be very often that this one makes it through the veto system. Your sub was gifted. If you got a gifted sub, was it gifted in December? It was, right? It was pretty recently, no? Or oh, am I incorrect? If you got a gifted sub in December, you're on the tree already. I promise you. But if it wasn't in December, and feel free to tell me if it wasn't, then I will get you on the tree right away. Reaper pops down. I feel like it was recently, though. Am I going crazy? It might, all the streams just blurring a one, I guess, lately. Anyways, let me know. Starport dropping down here from Clem in the main base. So getting that going. A few Zerglings and a Queen. Coming down to the low ground. SCV just trolling away off over to the right side of this. And he's going to throw down an engineering base. Trying to block the third base for a while. 
What's he going to do with the starport? Tech Lab is on the way up, so a couple of uh, opportunities. Just to see what comes of this. I mean, obviously, a uh, Battle Cruiser opening has been very popular as of late. Maybe it's just going to be that Banshee once again. Maybe it's just going to be a Viking. He goes uses this for a fast impact, although he doesn't really have the gas for that. She doesn't really have the gas for much, and that's because he has dropped down the Fusion Core. Okay. So Fusion Core coming in the back of the main base. Grenade comes down and again pops a couple of queens backwards. Queen's going to be spreading some of that creep spread. A couple of Hellenes dealing some damage as well. Ling is going down. I'm interested by the new Tess Carapace from Denver. Obviously it gives him overload speed for scouting and he does get to scout the fusion core. I wonder if there was a plan for him here if he didn't see a fusion core and he saw like a more regular build. Because Pneumatized Carapace can turn into, if you get a lair up and you go drops, you can actually get a few different aggressive builds going with it. You know, if you go for like an aggressive uh, roach attack, for example, um, you can kind of bring the queens across. There's like a big all in where you kind of get roachling queen. That's pretty much the only build uh, that's really in particular known for this, but I'm intrigued. Goes straight into a lair now. I mean, I guess maybe it is just for the scouting to see what's happening. And he does get that info on the Fusion Core very early, so we'll see what he's going to be able to do about that. Obviously, the Fusion Core for Battle Cruiser here gets that started in the main base, Clem. Has a couple of Hellenes on the way up. And a few Spore Crawlers being added on from Denver. I mean, again, does I guess scouting this early enough, he gets so many Spores that he's going to really nullify what that Battle Cruiser can get up to. Weapon refit upgrade coming in as well on the Fusion Core as that dance gets going up and down. Means that uh, he will just be able to immortal down a high energy queen right away, maybe a spore crawler. Spore at the front there, already taking just a little bit of damage. Spire on the way up from Denver and the natural expansion to you, Hellenes. Not really going to be able to do much for a moment. Armory on the way down in the main base. Come on, Hellions. Coming across the map, so maybe going to try and run by while the battle cruisers pull the queens out of position. Obviously, you can morph them into Hellbats, which really makes this very chaotic and very difficult to deal with. Battle cruiser is out and actually teleported into the natural. Did it teleport? Yeah, it did. It's just checking. We've seen the uh, Yamato cannon comes down and just blows up the queen there right away. Meanwhile, the Hellions do get into action over towards the third base, morphing into Hellbats now. And this is where it gets very tricky for Denver. He's actually going into a Spire as well, so I'm intrigued to see if he goes like Moodleist or something to try and clean this up. Already eight drones lost and counting with these Hellbats yet to be dealt with in the natural. That's the issue. There's no Bane Loons up. There's no real counter to these Hellbats at all. So 15 drones have gone down, and this is truly just a bit of a disaster right here. 19 workers killed. Battle Cruiser just sitting around as a Spore Crawler gets taken down. I mean, he just keeps on going. Don't think this ends anytime soon, honestly. <laughs> These one Duros just keep coming over to this one mineral patch, one at a time. And they just keep dying one at a time. This one learns and he actually runs away pretty quickly. Not a good startup for Denver. He's going to go across the map with a few Zerglings. Uh, not a full wall off here. Uh, well, he's going to get that there in a moment. He's trying to stop that third base from coming in at the moment. Hellions went up into the natural. Hellion going to be chased around. A few more Hellions coming over and will be able to pick that off. And Denver's not going to try and continue. He's just going to type out game. Doesn't feel as though there's much to be gained from staying in this one. GG's Clem ties us up 1-1. One one. For the Twitch Prime. Game 3 of Denver and Clem. To the bottom left-hand side, our green Zerg player is Denver. To the top right, our Blue Terran, Clem. His first matchup of the day, while Denver is 3-0 in the group. First map he lost was to Clem just now. Let's see what he can uh, get done here as we get this set up. Rolling and see what's going to happen. Came back from two and a half years of inactivity. How is the state of Zerg? I mean, 
A Zerg player just won BlizzCon, Home Story Cup, four WCS events. So, it depends. If you're going to play like Serral, Zerg's pretty good. If you're going to play like anyone else, well, it's probably fairly okay still. That's old video going live? What do you mean, Pedro? I am live right here. I am live. The games are replays. They were played literally less than a couple of hours ago. They were played while we were casting the other matches of the same tournament. We just played two matches at a time, so the players don't have to sit here all evening long. We cast the first six series live. This one, and the next few, the Clem matches basically are from replays, and they were played in the last couple of hours. No one knows the well. The results are out there if you really want to hunt on people's streams and stuff. But if anyone spoils in the chat, etc., you'll be banned. And uh, obviously, we are not going to be telling you guys the results because we want to cast them. I mean, I kind of, I don't actually know them myself per se because I just join the games on an alt account and I really don't pay attention. Like they just play off in the background. When I see a score screen, I just click away. Uh, you know, I just click go. And I get an invite to another game, so. I don't have to. I don't really know the results here either. Um, apart from sometimes I know like one or two of the maps and which way they went or something, but it's fairly unavoidable. So I'll always cast it, spoiler free, for your guys' enjoyment. Zerg is clearly struggling since the last patch. Yeah, really struggling. So <laughs> several wins home story cup and Zerg is fucked, right? I mean, honestly, like, it's a new patch. Terrans always do new, do well on a new patch. Zerg always do a bit worse, learn to react, and obviously this time they got pretty hit pretty hard, the transfuse got nerfed and stuff like that. It's going to take a while for them to figure it out. Does that mean Zerg is weak overall? I think it's too early to say, but I think it's very regular for Zerg to be weak at this stage, still, of a new patch. Even though I don't think it's, uh that different. It's that bad. I still think it's pretty balanced and of course realistically as a uh, unless you're at the top of the game then uh, the balance doesn't really matter right so Fusion Core again him here from Clem obviously won the last game with that battle cruiser opening maybe this is the state of Zerg though you have to deal with these battle cruiser openings and these Hellion Cyclone Banshee builds it is a very different kind of more kind of modern day TVZ that we've got going on here. As you see those links coming across towards the upper right. What's up, Lin's Tube coming in with a fresh Twitch Prime subscription as well. Welcome to the family. You guys actually might make me run out of decorations tonight. Like I have literally got one, two, three, four, five, ten ish left. Ten. That's crazy. Did Clem play his game against Roddy? Yes, we're going to cast that soon. We can cast that next if you guys would like. I don't mind which order we do these in. We can do Clem versus Roddy. Get that one wrapped up. I mean, Roddy's already eliminated as well, so it's probably the one with the least implications on the next little part of the group, I guess. Thank you so much again, Linstube, for that Twitch Prime. So, first region call on the way up. This time, roaches have been made. We'll see... In Denver, coming across the map with these, we'll see if he can get some damage done with them uh, before the battle cruiser begins to clean up. We'll see a couple of bunkers being made here. Marine on the way out at the moment. I love, by the way, that um, <laughs> despite the fact that battle cruisers seem to have been in the meta for like over, you know, coming up towards a month now. Despite that, people are still like battle cruisers, pog jam. I love it. People are still so hyped every single time. Like, this is still a reality! It's pretty great. Roach is going to be, uh... Getting quite a lot of damage here. As we do see the BC actually teleports on top of this to kind of help deal with it ASAP. Already seven SCVs having gone down. So, Denver getting himself into a fairly decent spot here, I feel like. Eight workers down. The roaches are going to fall, but also it's forced the battle cruiser. I kind of feel like the battle cruiser teleporting here. I can understand it because it kind of cleans up the roaches faster. But now I can't teleport across the map. So you're actually very safe at home for quite a while. And this time, obviously, Denver does not have to worry about defending for a bit. 
And as he's up on 64 drones, finally these roaches are dealt with. 64 drones to 37 SCVs. Denver puts himself in a strong position. BC, uh, BC will probably have to come over to pick off this overlord, which is currently blocking the third base. This time, though, I feel like we actually get to see Denver's game plan really coming through. I mean, we see the Spire is just over halfway done, so as that comes up to completion here, that should uh, enable the Zerg player to kind of really show us what he was trying to get into last game, but just didn't have the time for, unfortunately. Oh, that's going to be middle the way out of this hatchery. Hatchery does go down, as you see. Well, BC's arriving across the map. The Spire's here, though, so 11 Corruptors on the way up to try and take these down. I mean, they don't have tactical jumps, so they cannot get away once the Corruptors jump on them. Corruptors might be a good answer to this, as we do see the... Uh, What was that, actually? What was that just killed off? Oh, he killed the Spire. Okay, well. Kills the Spire, but I mean, the Corruptor's already made. He's just going to start taking these down, so... Well, I mean, tries to split the Battle That doesn't make much of a difference. Tries to run in with Hellions, but there's going to be Roaches nearby. A few drones going down, and... Just going to be seeing the Queen picking off another Hellion here as well. Seven drones down at the moment. This is actually the Hellions finally getting some damage done. But of course, this is off the back of the battle because it's not really doing much. 14 workers killed. Corruptors are going to go across the map and try and Corsic spray down a base, maybe? That could get very interesting here in a moment. There's not more roaches being made. I wonder if Denver's just planning to go straight across. Let's see as we do see the Corruptors get locked onto, but he just goes straight up into the main base. So here we go. I mean, again, Corsic spray on the command center? I feel like, or oh, well, what else could he Corsic spray down? I don't know. Maybe he's just afraid of the Cyclone still doesn't want to commit. All of these roaches and ravages coming up to the top side here. Getting ready to go as we see a few of them running in towards the third base already. Of course, sprays on the starport, which is obviously one of the ways where you can maybe get a bit more of an answer to these corruptors going. Oh my god, the starport is just going to get away. Corruptors will not chase. I think uh, Denver's a little bit busy focusing on his roaches, which obviously has some real potential at the front now. Going to come through. We're going to be seeing the cyclones have to pull away, but I mean, what do you actually do at the moment as Clem? I think the initial attack just did a bit too much. The battle cruisers never did any damage, and I mean, this is the second time today I'm seeing this Roach Ravager kind of attack against the BCs. Oh, the Roach attack early.